for the last 14 years, I've been traveling the world trying to figure out who I am. And here I am in Essex <laughs> helping people figure out who they are and how to live a different kind of life. Scary Guy's message is simple but effective and goes somewhere in teaching a love and tolerance towards each other. And last year's visit, the schools noticed a huge improvement in children's attitudes and behaviour towards each other. My name is The Scary Guy. It's my legal name. It's actually a title. I changed it in 1998 in a court of law in Tucson, Arizona. I'm an ex-tattoo artist. And today I use my tattoos to wake people up to the idea that, you know what, making decisions about people based on what you see isn't necessarily very accurate. I'm in Essex here to kick off some really cool projects to help kids learn how to heal and take responsibility for all their words and actions. Through these kinds of programs, emotional education, uh, training, and empowering the minds of children, including the teachers and maybe even some of the police officers that come along with us, that they can take these kind of programs to the community because it's a community program and everybody's got to be involved to make this work. It's not just a bad kid or a dysfunctional parent or this or that. It's everybody's got to be on the same page. Well, I got sick and tired of turning on my television and reading newspaper headlines about kids killing kids. In fact, back in those days when I first started in 1998, I started to see things because I was open to it. I, before, I just thought, eh, no big deal. But once I figured out who I was and that I was involved in this negative energy myself, it's when I became open to it. So I started to see things I couldn't believe. For, you know, sixth grade prostitution rings, give me a break. Columbine, two, two kids bringing machine guns to school and murdering their classmates. Things I never imagined in my life happening were happening. And I thought, gee, these kids are doing exactly what I did. I just didn't kill people with my energy. I was killing people with my words. So I thought, wow, is there really such thing as a bad kid? Or are they learning these behaviors? I got to go tell them the truth. So I hit the road. I didn't know what was going to happen, and here I am in Essex doing it again. Every child and every person has the power to choose who they're going to be. Um, just because you hear me speak doesn't mean the meaning of my words belong to you. So we're going to show you that you have that power and nobody has the right to dictate or define who you're going to be as a human being based on what they say.